For today, the North Carolina Tar Heels try to assure themselves of at least a tie for the ACC Basketball Championship as they take on Duke's Young Blue Devils in the second half of today's ACC doubleheader on the Raycom Jefferson Productions Sports Network. This is the 165th meeting in the long rivalry between North Carolina and Duke. The Young Blue Devils, led by outstanding freshman guard Johnny Dawkins, one of the top scorers in the ACC, averaging 18 points a ball game. And by the strong outside shooting of senior guard Chip England, who since regaining his starting spot has averaged 18 points a game over his last 10 contests. North Carolina, led by the strongest one-two punch in the conference, and junior forward Sam Perkins and sophomore guard Michael Jordan. And the Tar Heels have a strong outside grid of their own in senior guard Jimmy Braddock, who will play his final ACC regular season game here at Cameron Indoor Stadium today. North Carolina, coached by Dean Smith. Duke by Mike Krzyzewski. Enjoy the action with us as the Raycom Jefferson Production Sports Network presents ACC Basketball with North Carolina against Duke. Good afternoon, North Carolina and Duke are set to play their final regular season ACC game. Hello, everybody. I'm Fred White. Nice to have you along with us. Our analyst today, Dan Bonner. Dan, if North Carolina wins today, they know they've got at least a share of the ACC title. And more importantly than that, Fred, if they win today, they get the number one seed in the tournament because the worst they could do is tie Virginia. And since they've beaten Virginia in both regular season games, they'll be on top. Incredible game in the first half of our doubleheader with North Carolina State scoring 130 points. Unbelievable. Well, let's get back to this game. What's Duke going to have to do here? I think Duke's going to need very fine offensive performances from Johnny Dawkins, Chip England, and Mark Allery, and a great defensive effort from David Henderson against Michael Jordan. North Carolina blew Duke out in Chapel Hill earlier this year, but the series of games here at Cameron Indoor Stadium have, have provided some tight ball games. Boy, they sure have. Over the years, this game, the final home game for Duke against Carolina, has just been amazing. We're just about set to go. We have North Carolina and Duke. They're set to tee it up here at Cameron Indoor Stadium, and we'll be back with a tip-off and today's game. Game, here's the way they'll go. Sam Perkins and Matt Doherty at the forwards for North Carolina. Brad Doherty in the middle. Jim Braddock, Michael Jordan at the guards for the Tar Heels. Both ball clubs are out here, the Duke starters. David Henderson and Shea Billis up front. Mark Allery in the middle. Chip England and Johnny Dawkins are the guards. Duke and White, the home club here. North Carolina in their traveling blue. The officials today, John Moreau, Hank Nichols, and Gerald Donahue. And we are underway. North Carolina with a basketball. David Henderson has the assignment on Michael Jordan. He gets some help right there from Jay Billis, and Jordan misses the game's first shot. Duke up in a hurry. Dawkins tried to get Henderson down at the baseline and it's deflected. Duke doesn't want to get into a running match with North Carolina, but they'd certainly like to push the ball up the court in a controlled fast break situation and see if they can get some transition opportunity. England, Henderson down inside Allery. Johnny Dawkins nailed it. That's three. Johnny Dawkins gets the three-point shot. Three-nothing Duke. Duke starts in the man-to-man. -man. Matchup to watch is David Henderson against Michael Jordan. There it is, Jordan down low. He got help again from Billis, but Billis fouled Michael Jordan that time. Twice the ball has come to Michael Jordan, and twice Jay Billis has stepped up to help out. That may not bode well for Duke for the remainder of the game. What that means is that Michael Jordan is penetrating past David Henderson. He's forcing other people to come to help. Jordan is such a good passer, he's eventually going to start finding the open man in there. Michael Jordan on the free throw line, 72% shooter. It's a three to one ball game and Michael Jordan has another shot coming. It'll be interesting to see the way Chip England plays against Matt Doherty. He may try to drop off him a little bit, help out inside and give Doherty the outside shot. Michael Jordan very calmly hits them both. 1926 left in our first half, just underway. 3-2, Duke leading North Carolina. Earlier today, State beat Wake Forest by an unbelievable score, 130-89. Dawkins to England. Fakes and he's got Matt Doherty on his back. The foul on Matt Doherty. Evens the team fouls at one apiece. North Carolina trying some pressure in the full court. Johnny Dawkins breaks it very well. That puts Matt Doherty in a little bit of trouble against England. He leaves his feet, gets himself the foul. Chip England. Allery. Allery may have traveled, but nothing called, and Johnny Dawkins hits his second shot. 
Five points, Johnny Dawkins, 5-2 to Duke. Duke coming into the game very well prepared. They picked up the Carolina traps off the inbounds pass, got themselves a good shot with ball movement. Got it to Sam Perkins, working on Allery. The jump hook is short, and the ball loose on the floor. Dawkins wins the loose ball battle and brings it up in traffic. Got England all alone on the wing, and he missed the shot, and Sam Perkins clears the rebound. Jim Braddock against Dawkins. Perkins had a notion to go for three, now takes the running jump shot instead and gets it. Oh, he looked to be out of, all out of whack, but he got the shot down. He's really a player. He's, he's one of the finest inside players in the country, and one of the reasons that he is is his ability to move with and without the ball. 18-18 left in the first half. Dawkins for three is too strong with a try. And there's Allery underneath, fakes Perkins and takes it up and hits. Mark Allery gets his first two points, 7-4, Duke by three, and the crowd liking it. Braddock, back in a hurry, double dribble. Duke doing a good job stopping the penetration. The inside people, particularly Billis, that time Allery, getting over to help out, forcing the turnover. Two coaches, you saw Dean Smith, that's Mike Krzyzewski, 18 minutes left in the first half. There's your score, Duke by three. Boy, it is hot in this field house this afternoon. <laughs> Always is. Dawkins throws up the shot that won't drop, and Sam Perkins clears another rebound for North Carolina. Uh, Michael Jordan for three. Nothing but net. Michael Jordan has five points now. And a 7-7 tie. Carolina in the man-to-man. Braddock picking up at about three-quarter court, trying to control Dawkins. This is Henderson off the baseline. David Henderson has two, and Duke right back in front, 9-7. Matt Doherty to Jimmy Braddock. Perkins along the lane, going against Allery, the turnaround jumper, good. Sam Perkins has four points. Looks like he nine. shuffled his feet a little bit as he started that move, Fred. The Duke fans are all yelling for a walk. 17-04, left in our first half. Dawkins with a quick drive, got it up too strong. Billis can't tip it. Michael Jordan to Jim Braddock. Matt Doherty back to Braddock for three. Doherty, a, he's a great passer. They get the ball down the court. Doherty does a nice job getting an inside position, catches the ball off the pass. The defense drops down inside, and he gets it back to Brown. Carolina has their first lead at 12-9. 16-38 up in the first half. Michael Jordan with another steal. Braddock. Henderson going for the steal. Fouls Braddock. That is Michael Jordan. 73rd steal of the year. He's, he's just always where the ball is. Dawkins doing a good job penetrating. This time, Billis doesn't even see Michael Jordan. He turns right into him. Jordan picks up the ball, does a nice job getting it up the court. And Michael Jordan just is amazing with his ability to steal the ball. John Brownlee in the game for Carolina. This is Braddock, and they've got a foul down in the lane as Warren Martin turned to catch the bounce pass. He was detected pushing off. First foul on Warren Martin. Second team foul on Carolina. Duke's been whistled for two. And now Todd Anderson checks into the Duke lineup. He replaces Jay Billis. Anderson has been playing well off the bench. His last four games, he scored 19 points and had 13 rebounds. North Carolina sets his zone defense. Well, they're showing zone. We'll see if they stay in the zone. 16-15, left in the first half. Chip England along the lane, got out of shape, and threw it out of bounds. He intended to pass for Allen. I think he went up to shoot and changed his mind. Good move by Warren Martin to come over, plug the middle of the zone. Once England got off his feet, he couldn't get it over Martin and couldn't make the pass. Warren Martin and Todd Anderson having a pretty good bumping contest down on the lane. Martin with the ball right now. Raddick. Back to Martin. Goes up an off-balance hook, and he hit it. He kind of threw it back over his head, and Martin gets to 14-9. North Carolina by 5. 15-46 left in the first half. Now, North Carolina shows the 2-3 zone down the court, but then they shift into what looks like a 1-3-1 after a couple of passes. Johnny Dawkins hooks a quick pass to Henderson. This is Allery off the baseline. Good. Mark Allery has four. 14-11. North Carolina by three. Matt Doherty. Hunter's shot won't drop. Martin. And Todd Anderson dueling for the loose ball, and it's going to be Duke basketball. Good a center in the ballgame for North Carolina, playing with a bruised foot, but he appeared to be moving pretty well. We have a timeout taken here. 
This one comes with 15 minutes, 15 seconds left in our first half. North Carolina leading Duke 14 to 11. And we'll be back right after this message from Budweiser. By the authority of the Atlantic Coast Conference and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this game without the express written consent of the Atlantic Coast Conference is strictly prohibited. There's your score. North Carolina by three over Duke. 15-15 left in our first half. Red White along with Dan Bonner. Nice to have you with us. Tom Emma in the game now for Duke. Gets it inbounds to Henderson. Michael Jordan almost got the steal again. This is Dawkins to Allery. He walked. Oh, they had two good shots, Dan, and lost them both. Well, Johnny Dawkins thus far in the game, and as every game that he plays, it seems, does such a good job penetrating that it's difficult to control that inside pass. Allery did have a good shot. He was intimidated a little bit by Brad Dorr, and he, and he walked. Jim Braddock up for Carolina. The Tar Heels by three with 15 minutes left in the first half. Down low, intended for Perkins, stolen by Allery. And what, Duke gets it right back. What a great play by Allery. He just battled Perkins for that position and read the pass perfectly. Just an outstanding pressure from Mark Allery. He does so many things well. Henderson, Michael Jordan with him. They're going head-to-head -head at both ends of the floor right now. Carolina, of course, now back to the man-to-man. -man. As we expected, they're switching defense. There's the lob, the back door to Dawkins. He couldn't make the catch cleanly. And it comes back outside. Anderson to Emma for three. Tom Emma. Of course, amazing how many times Johnny Dawkins gets open on that backdoor lob. Braddock, three. Jim Braddock has two three-point field goals. Carolina has three in this game. Duke has two. It's 17 to 14, North Carolina, with 14.07 left in the first half. Henderson all alone. Two. Now you wonder why he didn't step back and go for three. Well, that's a big shot by Henderson. Michael Jordan gets a lot of steals because he plays off his man sometime. He's playing way off Henderson. Henderson's going to need to convert. Hunter, that's three. Curtis Hunter picks up the three-point field goal. He's two for three on three-point drives this year. He'd only shot two before that. Now 2016, North Carolina with a four-point lead. 13-34 left in the first half. He's got a foul in the lane. Foul's going to be against Sam Perkins trying to stop Mark Gallery's cut across the lane. He's going to get ball called for a little bit of a forearm. 13 minutes, 41 seconds left in the first half. Gene Smith, North Carolina, has hit four out of four three-point attempts in this basketball game. And all their three-point attempts have been good, on-balance shots with people wide open. They move the ball very well, and their inside guys know when to kick it out for that three-point opportunity. As you saw, Duke is two out of three. Emma, Dawkins, Emma. Carolina back in the 1-3-1 zone. Emma fakes. As England for a three-point drive. Off the heel of the rim, Michael Jordan brings it up for North Carolina. Look at him working traffic. Perkins is fouled by Scott Anderson. That's the first on Anderson. And the team fouls are even now at three apiece with 13.05 left in the first half. Perkins does an excellent job getting up the court. Here you can see him coming into the picture. Jordan finds him just at the right time before Anderson can get set. Anderson comes over the body, gets the foul. 2016 North Carolina, Brad Doherty. Michael Jordan over Emma. Off the hill of the rim, and Emma picks up the long rebound. England. Carolina back to the man-to-man. -man. Michael Jordan giving Emma some problems. He clears the Dawkins with 12.40 left in the first half. Deflected by Steve Hale, and Hale wins the loose ball battle and is tackled. England didn't intend to do it. They wound up bringing him down for a game of two. England's going for the basketball. Hale makes a good play to bat it up in the air, but watch Brad Doherty really go after the ball. He knocks it back to Hale, actually creates that play. Game is two, second and eight, Carolina. <laughs> 20 to 16, the Tar Heels lead by four. The inside play in this basketball game is very physical. Jay Billis really got one in the nose from Brad Doherty the last trip down the court. They're at it again inside, and there's Brad Doherty turning and getting the shot. He was double teamed by Anderson and Billis and fouled. The basket's going to count. The foul's against Todd Anderson, his second. Brad Doherty gets his first two points of the day, and he'll be at the free throw line. And now North Carolina has opened a six-point lead. They 
Ramsey, Hallery, and Mike Bissaw coming on the floor for Duke. Jay Dulles sits down, Todd Anderson sits down. The reason you hear the big hand, of course, Mike Tissaw, very popular player here. He's a senior playing in his last home game. There's Brad Doherty's number, 66% free throw shooter, a 6'11 freshman. Nothing but net. Three points, Brad Doherty, 23-16. Carolina by seven with ball 22 left in the first half. Earlier today, North Carolina State beat Wake Forest, 130 to 89. Emma to Tissaw to England, Purdue. Emma's going to drive the baseline to Tissaw, and he walked with the basketball coming down the lane. Boy, Duke forcing some passes. Duke's getting inside. See Mike Krzyzewski there. He's not real pleased with that call. But Duke's doing a good job penetrating past the North Carolina perimeter people, but then the guards are leaving their feet, and they're having to throw tough passes. Hale. Got a foul inside. Allery and Sam Perkins were shoving, and Sam Perkins is called for the foul. That's the second on Perkins. Dean Smith doesn't like the call. That's a very tough call. It can go either way. There's a new, new point of emphasis this year is to not allow the offensive players to take an advantage, and I guess that's what the officials ruled Perkins was doing. You're looking at the North Carolina bench, 11.57 left in the first half. Timeout taken here. Carolina up by seven over Duke, and this is the Raycon. Jefferson Productions, Sportsnet, 11.57 left in our first half. North Carolina has opened the seven-point lead over Duke. Tomorrow afternoon, join us for our final regular season telecast. Mike Patrick and Jeff Mullen will be in Charlottesville. It'll be Maryland against Virginia, the final regular season game in the ACC. Then we all move to the Omni in Atlanta for the ACC postseason tournament. It starts on Friday, March the 11th with four games. Our first telecast at noon. Both games in the semifinal Saturday. The championship game on Sunday. There's your score. Emma hit the deck, lost the ball, but it's out of bounds in North Carolina now. Very good job by North Carolina pressuring the inbounds pass. Duke's is trying to set some screens and get open against it, but Emma tripped over Tissaw and the ball went out of bounds. Jordan inbounds to Sam Perkins, 11.53 left in the first half. Michael Jordan, Jim Braddock, Matt Doherty. Starting lineup in there now for North Carolina. Michael Jordan down the lane, got a screen from Brad Doherty, now throws up the off balance shot that's in and out, and a rebound. Taken away by Ellery. Johnny Dawkins. Mike Tissa. Duke down by seven. The Blue Devils need something. Emma takes it inside and gets blocked and taken away by Doherty, but they're going to say he came down on the out-of-bounds strike. Brad Doherty with the block. That is his 29th block of the year. Perkins North, leads him in that department. North Carolina doing an excellent job on the defensive end of the court. Emma once again is able to penetrate, but Carolina's defense is there to help out. And it looked like if Brad Doherty hadn't have blocked it, Sam Perkins was going to. That's right. Sam was standing right there. England, three-point try, won't drop for him, and it's out of bounds to North Carolina. 11-11 left in the first half. Jay Phyllis back in the game for Duke. Mike Tissaw sits down. 23-16, North Carolina still has the seven-point lead. Duke staying in that man-to-man. -man. David Henderson's back in now, matched up against Michael Jordan. Duke has turned it over now in their last three positions. Now Carolina turns it over. Dawkins trying to run past Braddock. Oh, oh. It's going to be goaltending. Michael Jordan run up and just swatted that ball out of the air. Give Johnny Dawkins two points. Well, this is goaltending, but it certainly will give Johnny Dawkins something to think about. Look at Michael Jordan cover ground. Oh, just get up there. I think he hit his head on the backboard. I heard a little bang, and I yes, he did. He sure did. That's how high that young man got up. He hit the back of his head against the backboard. Now, it's padded along the bottom of the board there, but he really hit himself. Michael Jordan in a mid-air collision with the backboard. This is amazing. Watch him cover ground from the free throw line. Goes up now. Okay, watch him as he comes up. Bang, right there. Oh. Hits his head on the side of his head on the backboard, and he's got to be hurting just a little bit. What an incredible leap. The Carolina trainer, Mark Davis, out of tending to him. They're going to take Michael Jordan out of the game. He appears to be all right. But again, he grabs the back of his head as he sits down. That's really something. Not only is it his head, but it's sort of the, the upper part of his neck, which is how high he is off the court. That is an amazing leap. And what he blocked was a running hook shot. 
And he was going full speed, so that has got to hurt. I just hope the young man isn't seriously injured, because that's one thing you can never tell about with a head knock like that. 23-18, North Carolina will keep an eye on Michael Jordan for you. He's out of the game now. There's Perkins at the baseline. Lost the ball. Carolina turns it over, and here comes Duke, down by five, with 10.38 left in the first half. When Duke executes their defense, you see some classic man-to-man -man defensive play. Fronting the postman down inside, then the offside man coming to help on the lob pass. That time they created a turnover. Mark Gallery wants some help, takes a dribble, gives it to England. England shot off by Perkins, back inside Allery, he's two-time. Dawkins makes the quick move in the lane, the jump hook won't drop, Billis. Big rebound, he's blocked by Perkins. And here comes North Carolina with the ball and a five-point lead. Raddick for three, nope. Perkins keeps it alive, Hunter gets it. Curtis Hunter has five points in the game, and it's 25-18 North Carolina. That's a tough break for Duke. I think if Braddock would have hit the rim, Duke would have got the rebound, but the ball hit the board and came straight down into the hands of the Carolina player. Dawkins, Allery, floating left-handed shot. Nice work by Mark Allery. Half a dozen points now for Allery. There's the score. Carolina by five, 941 left in the first half. Brad Doherty. Sam Perkins. Michael Jordan still on the bench with that ice pack on the back of his head after hitting his head on the backboard. Turnaround shot. Brad Doherty won't stick with the tip good. Curtis Hunter again. He has seven points. And the freshman from Durham doing a good job in nearly going for Carolina. It's important that he pick up some of the slack that has obviously resulted from Michael Jordan's leaving the game. That time he just beat David Henderson to the ball. North Carolina with a seven-point lead. Henderson pinned in the corner, finds Dawkins all alone. Now down inside it goes to Villas. Tough shot, won't fall for it. Allery's there, and he lost the ball. I'll tell you, Duke is passing up too many good shots. I, I agree with you. Dawkins had a wide-open 15-footer. He should have taken that shot by passing it inside to Villas. He just passed it close to the defense. North Carolina with a seven-point lead in the ball with 8.53 left in the first half. Again, North Carolina State being late for us. 1.30-89 earlier today, and there's Brad Doherty. He has five points, and North Carolina up by nine now with 8.41 left in the first half. Curtis Hunter's really playing hard. He just has asked to come out of the basketball game. We'll have to see who's going to get up and come in for him. Cecil Exum will replace him. Henderson. England. Called against Curtis Hunter. That's his first. That is team foul number five on North Carolina. Duke has been called for five. Didn't call that a shooting foul. England looked like he was penetrating to the basket. There you get a look at Michael Jordan standing up with Dean Smith. He may be in the game basketball game soon. Dean Smith down talking to Michael Jordan. Seeing if he's all right. Skip England. 91% free throw shooter. It's about as close to automatic as you can get. Hear that sound? Nothing but net. 29-22 North Carolina. Exum to Matt Doherty. Lob to Perkins and the jumper's up. Off the heel of the rim. Chip England slips. Great inside defense by Duke. Now watch Carolina play defense. They're really smart. David Henderson in and out. Rebound battle, Sam Perkins hits the floor. The ball out of bounds, they're gonna give it to Duke. Perkins saying, hey, I was wrestled down. Michael Jordan's coming back in the game, so he's all right. Cecil Luxon coming out for North Carolina. 29-22, North Carolina, eight minutes left in the first half. And now we have a timeout taken here at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Again, eight minutes left in first half action here. North Carolina 29, Duke 22, and we'll be back right after this. Cameron Indoor Stadium with eight minutes left in the first half. There's the score. North Carolina now with a seven-point lead over Duke. Duke got off quickly, got up by as many as three, but North Carolina a couple of times has had leads of nine. There's Michael Jordan. Apparently he's all right. He's back in the game after incredibly hitting his head on the backboard trying to block a shot earlier in this game. Young man's going to have a headache. Well, Carolina really shooting well. You go on a road shoot 58% and you're getting all right. Don't forget tomorrow afternoon it'll be Maryland at Virginia. In our final regular season telecast, and we all go to Atlanta. The Omni for the ACC tournament starting Friday. England. Can't get it. Boost on cold from the field. England's going to try it again, too. 
Chip England hits a two-point shot, his first field goal. He has four points, 29-24, and if he gets hot, look out. He really looked like he was disgusted. He missed that open three-point shot. He went right after the ball and shot it as soon as he got it back. Sam Perkins, Matt Doherty, 7-27 left in our first half. Warren Martin turns and gets the shot down. Never looks like he's in position to shoot and just keeps knocking them down. Four points, Warren Martin. He is so big, Billis is having a tough time getting around in front of him. Walden Williams on the floor now for Duke. Allery from near the corner, too strong with a try, and Walden Williams fouls Michael Jordan on a rebound attempt. First foul on Walden Williams. That's number six on Duke. North Carolina has been whistled for five. Mike Krzyzewski, Duke coach, Dean Smith, getting Steve Hale in the game for Carolina. Brad Doherty coming back in the game. 6'11 freshman. Hale, a freshman on the floor for Carolina. Duke, of course, with all those freshmen out there, starting four freshmen, as usual, here today. One senior, Chip England. Sam Perkins lobs low. Doherty has Jordan for three. Good. Oh, nothing but net. Michael Jordan now has eight points. He has two three-point field goals. 34-24. North Carolina by 10. With 640 left in the first half. Hawkins. Allery. Weldon Williams. England off balance, fires it up, in and out and in again. Tough shot and Chip England knocked it down. He has six points. Michael Jordan continues to roam around. There we get Steve Hale with a near steal, but Duke is going to keep the basketball. Although Steve Hale is asking for it. I mean, Carolina's going to keep the basketball. That's Dawkins almost got it. Hale, now Dawkins almost going down. Hale moves past him, gets penetration. Goes to Matt Doherty, three-point try, good. North Carolina really knocking it down from three-point range. First points today for Matt Doherty, 37-26 Tar Heels. Six minutes left in the first half. Excellent defense by North Carolina. Blocked by Sam Perkins. The ball still being battled for. Johnny Dawkins trying to kick it out of there, and Matt Doherty picks it up for Carolina. Now Doherty gets the baseline, the shot won't fall, the tip no good, and Brad Doherty tips it back up and in for North Carolina, seven for Doherty, and a 13-point lead to the Tar Heels, and Duke wants a timeout. A wild flurry right there went Carolina's way, and with 5.33 left in our first half stadium, with 5.33 left in our first half, North Carolina up by 13 over Duke, and look at that, Carolina just blistering it from three-point range. The shots, some of them are way beyond the three-point line, too, but North Carolina is moving the basketball very well, and all the three-point shots they've gotten have been wide-open shots. Duke has been shooting theirs under pressure. Dawkins, three-point attempt, no good. Henderson's right there, and it's back up and in. David Henderson has a half-dozen points, an offensive rebound there, and Duke within 11 now with 5-14 left in the first half. And North Carolina State beat Wake Forest, 130-89. Earlier today and tomorrow, you can see Virginia and Maryland here on the Lacom Jefferson Production Sports Network. And oh, what a shot by Michael Jordan. He what was fouled, it'll count. What athletic ability. Chip England does a, does a great job coming over to help, but Jordan misses him. Good backdoor cut. Good, strong plant of the foot. He's up. Look at him just stay up in the air and get that thing off the board. And England, I don't know how you can do a much better job than that. England drew his second foul. Tom M in the game now for Duke. Michael Jordan with 10 points in the first half, looking for number 11, trying to complete the three-point play, and he does it. 42-28, North Carolina by 14. North Carolina bench. Dawkins to England, three-point shot, good. Chip England knocks it down from the deep corner. He now has nine points, 42-31. 4.45 left in the first half. Matt Doherty. Pass knocked loose in there by Todd Anderson. And now a walking ball against Warren Martin and North Carolina turns it over. North Carolina coaches unhappy with the call. Sam Perkins back in the ball game. Brad Doherty will sit down. Warren Martin's out now. No, Brad Doherty's going to stay in. Warren Martin's coming out. 
Tell you what, Fred, if you had to be the fellow that types up the running play-by-play -play of the game that includes all the substitutions, you'd have to have your fingers nimble when you're in a North Carolina game. Someday I'm going to take the time to get one of those sheets and see how many substitutions he makes in the game. It's got to be an incredible number. Chip England partially blocked by Matt Doherty, and it's out of bounds to Duke under their own basket with 4.22 left in the first half. Duke down by 11. Both coaches in your picture there, Mike Krzyzewski, the Duke coach, and the light coach, Dean Smith. And Mike Krzyzewski's asking for the 30-second clock to be reset because Chip England did attempt the shot. The rule in the ACC is like the international rule. The ball doesn't have to hit the rim as in the NBA. You just have to attempt the shot in the 30 seconds. Johnny Dawkins, four minutes, 14 seconds left in the first half. Allery, Carolina in the zone. Oh, Sam Perkins just went down. He apparently has twisted an ankle. I didn't even see what happened, Fred. He's holding his toe. Sam Perkins just went to the floor. He's grabbed his right foot. But it, it, what if it's a cramp? Well, it might be. be. Well, I don't know. He just, he just went down. He was out there playing in the wing on the 1-3-1 one zone, and he just went down. He's not limping heavily as he gets back to the bench, but we'll see if we can. Well, he's out of our sight now as we look down toward the Carolina bench. Play just stopped all of a sudden as Sam Perkins hit the deck, so Warren Martin right back in the game. Now, of course, on the official timeout like that, the 30-second clock will be reset for Duke. It was down to 17 seconds, but they'll have a full third. Four minutes, two seconds left in the first half. Duke down by 11 at the moment. 15 seconds left in the shot clock. England goes for three from the deep corner and nails it. Well, <laughs> Chip England. A dozen points for England. His 11th straight game in double figures, and he has Duke back with an eight in North Carolina with 341 left in the first half. 1,000 career points for Chip England. That got him 1,000. Inside, Warren Martin is a block. And the possession belongs to Duke. The Blue Devils have a chance to cut some more off the Carolina lead. Duke really scrambling inside. Johnny Dawkins goes up. He doesn't get it. But Allery comes over, gets his hand right on the basketball. The official rule, the held ball. Duke gets the possession. Excellent defense inside by the Blue Devils. The crowd is really into the game now. Duke once down by 14, now with an eight. England to Emma. Baseline to Dawkins, reverse layup. Beautiful shot by Johnny Dawkins. Nine points Dawkins and Duke back within six with 3.04 left in the first half. The Devils making a run here. Jordan's turnaround jumper's going to fall short. Quick rebound to Todd Anderson. He almost elbowed Johnny Dawkins, his teammate. He felt the pressure behind him. But he did not hear the whistle. Of course, we didn't up here either because there's a lot of noise in the gym. But Anderson did a tremendous job blocking out against Warren Martin. He pulled the ball down. Everybody had stopped, and he was still making sure that nobody got anywhere close. And a foul was called against Warren Martin. That's his second. That is team foul number six on Carolina from the rest of the first half. Both teams will shoot one and one. Get a good look there at Warren Martin, who just got the foul. Sam Perkins back on the floor. Look at this final. Georgetown beats Villanova by 16, 87-71. Well, has, has the word upset become passe? And sometimes I wonder if you can call Georgetown beating anybody an upset. Well, that's for, that's for sure. 42-36, North Carolina, 235 left in the first half. Duke doing a good job of getting back in this thing. England throws it up badly off balance and is short with a try. Perkins saves the rebound. Sam Perkins back on the floor for North Carolina, so apparently he's all right. Michael Jordan's out there. Jordan hit his head on the backboard earlier in this game. Perkins fires for three and misses. Duke got him for the rebound. Dawkins brings it out of there. They're three on two. England. Todd Anderson. Dawkins. 
Two minutes left in the first half. Duke's going to get a little bit under control here. They certainly seem excited. Dawkins nails the three-point try, and Duke really starting to warm up from the field. Dozen points for Dawkins, and the Blue Devils back within three of the Tar Heels with a minute 47 left in the first half. And the crowd really coming to life here in Cameron. Down low, Perkins turns, jumps in and out. Perkins again. That time he got it, and a whistle blows. The basket's going to count. A foul has been called. And Perkins goes down again. Perkins is, Perkins is down again. It looks like he's got the same problem that he had before. Great move by Jimmy Braddock to get the ball into Perkins, but you see, Ton Anderson does not block Perkins out. He goes very hard and gets his own rebound, and right at the end there, you could see him favor that foot a little bit. He went down, but he's back up now. We'll try to find out what the problem is with Sam Perkins. I'll tell you the reason I guess cramp. I, I'm one of those people that gets toe cramps all the time. I, <laughs> now, I, I, I wondered that when he said he had a cramp in his well, toe. That's not a cramp. We just found that out. We'll try to find out what it is. Sam Perkins on the line. That's a big, big basket by Sam Perkins. He could have easily stopped after missing the shot, but he went right after the rebound, turns it into a three-point play, and stems the Duke tide a little bit. Ohio State has defeated Purdue this afternoon. 45-39, North Carolina leading Duke here. A minute 30 left in the first half. Emma's going to take the three-point shot in and out. Allery Battling can't clear the rebound. Matt Doherty does for North Carolina. That was a long, long shot that Emma took. Perkins is fouled. Mark Allery commits his first personal foul. And both clubs now in the one and one. North Carolina doing a nice job getting the ball down the court. Good pass Brad Doherty. See, Allery gets him with a hip a little bit. Duke's got to be very careful, Fred. They did an excellent job getting back in the game, but they have to try to avoid one of those streaks that's so typical of a young ball club where they get back in the game and then suddenly they let the other team make a run at them and now they got to battle all over again. Sam Perkins, free throw, won't fall. Rebounded by Jay Billis. Here comes Duke, down by six with a minute 11 left in the first half. Dawkins working against Braddock. The Kemper's up quickly and he's fouled. Jim Braddock commits his first personal foul. That'll put Dawkins on the line with a minute seven left in the first half. This is just a great one-on-one -on -one move here. You can see he gets Braddock going both ways, a little stutter step, spin move. It's a clinic in one-on-one -on -one basketball all within the space of a few seconds. Johnny Dawkins, the freshman from Washington, D.C., steps to the line. He has 12 points in this game, 13. Dawkins has been in double figures every game but one this year. And he has done an excellent job today handling the North Carolina pressure. And Carolina throws so many different defenses at you. That's pretty impressive. Allery gets the rebound over Warren Martin. Henderson off the heel of the rim and rebounded by Matt Doherty with 55 seconds left in the half. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan has 13 points. 47-40 Carolina. I don't know what David Henderson was doing with that shot. He was just inside the three-point line. It, it was not a good shot. Duke needed to get it back out, get it set up. 37 seconds left in the first half. Dave Billings <laughs> collides with Warren Martin, and that's like running into the side of a mountain. <laughs> Warren says, what I do? He said, I was just standing there. Watch him. He's going to try to get around and help on the screen. Jumps out. Oh, yeah. He, he stepped right into him. That's a pretty good call. But Billings looks like he's been shot. He just goes right down. Looks like a motorboat just ran into a battleship. 35 seconds left in the half. Jay Billis on the free throw. Last three fouls on Warren Martin. Jay Billis has not scored in this game. The last game for Duke, he had 21 points and 13 rebounds against Munson. John Brownlee now replaces Warren Martin. Matt Doherty's out there. Brad Doherty's out there. Jimmy Braddock and Michael Jordan. Now we've got a technical foul on somebody, and maybe Dean Smith. Yes, it is Dean Smith. <laughs> Or is it Mike Krzyzewski? Well, it's a Carolina bench. Dean Smith's still upset. He's taken a few technicals this year. Well, I think he, he feels it's time in the basketball game to maybe get the attention of the officials a little bit. He's still talking to him. Dean in his 22nd year as a head coach at North Carolina. Jay Billis gets the first one. You know what? This could be a six-point run right here. It's a six-point lead for North Carolina. Well, it could be more than that. It could be seven. It could be four free throws. That one misses. 
Now Emma will shoot the two technical shots. Emma, an 82% free throw shooter. Emma gets Duke within five, can make it four here, and then Duke has the basketball. Five points, Tom Emma. Four-point lead for North Carolina with 35 seconds left in the half. Dean Smith has been hit with the technical. And now Duke could get within one point with a three-point shot here after being down by 14 earlier here in the first half. I think you'll see the Blue Devils try to hang on to the ball for a little bit. They don't have much of an offensive team in the game. Henderson. Emma. This off. A hard down in the lane working to get open. 21 seconds left in the half, and the ball was kicked by North Carolina. Duke will still have it. Now they can get the last shot of the half. 20 seconds left in the first half, and Duke can hold for the last shot. That's really a good break for North Carolina. Mike Tissot trying to force the pass. I don't know that he, it was kicked as much as he just bounced it off of Brad Doherty's foot. Walking for the basketball. 15 seconds left in the half. Duke down by four. Tissaw gets down the baseline, fires it back outside. Emma takes it down, back to Hawkins it goes. He throws up a wild shot that misses, and a foul committed by Mike Tissaw, and Duke did not close the half out very well. That's not what Duke wanted. North Carolina is going to get an opportunity for a one-on-one. -on -one. Good pressure by North Carolina out of the zone. See Tissaw coming in from the end there, going over Brett, Matt Doherty's back. Boy, Duke has just been wild with the basketball here in the first half. <laughs> it's, I think it's a product of having a young team, although in that particular instance, the only freshman on the court was Johnny Dawkins, but they just weren't very patient. Carolina helped them out by trying to trap. Matt Doherty will shoot the free throw. It's an unusual stat, isn't it? You just saw up there, Matt Doherty is the assist leader on this Carolina club. He started this game with 127. Jimmy Braddock had 125, the point guard. 48-43, Carolina. 49, Matt Doherty gets them both. He has five points, four seconds left in the half. Chip England with two seconds left in the half. The ball knocked loose. It's out of bounds, and we have come to the end of one half of action here at Cameron Indoor Stadium. And Duke, at one time down by 14 points in this half, is back within six here at halftime. Pretty good comeback, Dan. Excellent comeback by the Duke Blue Devils. They started the game very strongly. It was tied at 14, but then Carolina ran off a very good stretch outscoring the Blue Devils 9-2 and sort of took off from there. But Dukes made a great comeback from the time when they were down 42-28. to And it's a lot of the things that happened in the first half that have to have Mike Krzyzewski taking, shaking his head with his young team. They play very well for a few minutes, and then they seem to play poorly for a few minutes, getting maybe a little bit too excited, taking some wild shots, forcing some passes. But overall, Krzyzewski has to be pleased with the effort in the first half. They're right in the basketball game against one of the finest teams in the country, certainly within striking distance. Again, we are at halftime at Cameron Indoor Stadium. North Carolina has opened up the six-point lead. There's your score, North Carolina 49, to 43. And we'll be back after this. All great basketball teams do. They do a good job of taking what the defense gives them. That's where they get that very high field goal percentage. They've done a nice job finding where Duke is weak and exploiting it. Duke only shooting 44% from the field. That's hurt them. Duke giving great effort on the boards. They're not giving North Carolina very many second chances. Michael Jordan leading the way once again with 13 points. Only person in foul trouble is Warren Martin. Second half action underway here. North Carolina with a six-point lead. Michael Jordan with 13 points and a mid-air collision with a backboard, and he's all right. Jim Braddock had a notion, didn't pull the trigger. Duke stays in the man-to-man. -man. They've been in it the entire game. Jordan put a move on Henderson. The shot won't fall. A rebound, Henderson. Three on one against Braddock. Here comes Duke. Good feed to Johnny Dawkins. The shot doesn't drop, and Sam Perkins clears the rebound. And again, Duke in too big a hurry. Duke's in a big hurry, but I'll tell you what, Michael Jordan got back and bothered that shot just enough to throw it up, to throw it off. Jordan hits a shot from outside that is not going to count because there was a foul call down in the lane. There's the Duke scoring. Dawkins with 13, England with 12. I said he had 13. He has an even thousand points for his career right now. That foul was called against Jay Billis. It's his second personal foul. 19-22 left in the basketball game, a six-point lead to North Carolina. Brad Doherty is fouled by Chip England. That's three on England. Boy, Duke has committed two quick fouls here to start the second half. 
North Carolina doing a good job trying to be patient to get the ball inside against the smaller Blue Devils, forcing England to come down and help out. The fans are upset because they called that a two-shot foul, but I think that's probably a good call. Brad Doherty had seven points in the first half. That stuck somehow. He now has eight. That's his average. Well, he wanted to see how many different parts of the rim he could hit before he got it down. Oh, well, the paint off the inside of him. Hit it again. He has nine points, 51-43. North Carolina back up by eight. Jim England. Getting trapped now in backcourt. He needs help and clears to Phillips. Boy, that was a dangerous pass. Phillips had to be very careful lest he get an over and back call. 19 minutes left in this basketball game. England off balance. Can't get the shot. In fact, he got an air ball and Perkins tries to save it and does to Matt Doherty. Look at Matt Doherty take it behind. <laughs> and All those it. Sam Perkins is going to call for a walk. Very important for the Duke Blue Devils to not let North Carolina get a streak on them here early in the second half. Duke's got to work the ball down, try to get a good shot at the basket. Chip England with the last shot was a very, very difficult shot. North Carolina doing a good job blocking out. 18.45 left in the game. 51-43, North Carolina leading Duke here. Dawkins. Allery down off the baseline. Brad Doherty out defending. Doherty's doing a good job of just staying down. Dawkins works on Gladick, and we've got a whistle in the lane. And a foul inside on Michael Jordan. This is North, North Carolina playing man-to-man. -man. Duke trying to pick on the inside. Jordan and in trying to get over one of the screens gets called for the foul. Second foul. That was the first foul on North Carolina here in the second half. Duke has been whistled for two. Good, strong move by Mark Gallery to the basket. He missed the shot, but Jay Billis is right there on the rebound as nobody blocked Billis out. Mark Gallery now has eight points. Jordan shot one drop. Here comes Dawkins. Duke down by six. He's one on three and has to pull it back. Oh, I think he was trying to throw it to England. An hour he was coming along, and Duke turns it over. Perkins, jump shot in the lane. Good. Sam Perkins now has 11. Great catch by Perkins in traffic, turning to the basket, getting on balance, knocking it in. That's a big turnaround. Eight-point lead, North Carolina, 17 minutes and 44 seconds left in this basketball game. Seems like Fox rolling money right now. <laughs> That's what it was. Jay Bullis looks the shot inside. Brad Gordy takes the rebound away. Jimmy Braddock off balance. Oh, what a job of saving the dribble by Braddock. Got a lot of guys falling around out there. Michael Jordan starts a baseline drive, gets too deep, but saves it. Now Perkins, back in the lane he goes. Jumper on the rim won't fall, but he's fouled. Mark Gallery gets his second foul. Last couple of minutes, I've seen some really hectic action up and down the court. Sam Perkins makes a block on one end. Here he finishes off a series, a little bit disorganized. North Carolina passing the ball around, takes it into the middle, draws the foul against Mark Gallery. You guys have spent more time in the air than Lindbergh here this afternoon. Ball's really moving around. Duke's turned it over four of their last five possessions. They are simply not taking care of the ball. Sam Perkins, 83% free throw shooter, one for two today, misses. One for three. Sam Perkins with nine points in this game. Apparently he's all right. He had a foot problem twice in the first half. Ten points now for Perkins, a nine-point lead for North Carolina. The Tar Heels have led by as many as 14. Duke had a three-point lead early. Then came storming to back to get back within four after being down by 14 at one point. The moment again, it's nine with 17.06 left in the ballgame. North Carolina really keeping the defensive pressure on. England to Dawkins, and the shot won't drop for him. Braddock runs it down. Braddock. Works it up, Dawkins with it. 20 seconds on the shot clock. 16.45 on the game clock. Raddick, Bob to Perkins, and he's fouled. Johnny Dawkins just grabbed him. 
Now we're early in the second half, and that's a kind of a foul ordinarily a tired player would make. Well, Johnny Dawkins plays a lot of minutes, and he's been playing very hard all throughout the game, uh, particularly trying to work against the North Carolina pressure, so he may be tired. As we mentioned, it is hot in here today. We have 16-39 left in this basketball game. North Carolina leading Duke by nine. This is the Raycom Jefferson Production Sports Network. Your medium in Durham. 16-39 left in our game. North Carolina with a nine-point lead over Duke, 54-45. Earlier today, North Carolina State beat Wake Forest 130 to 89. And that sets up a real interesting matchup in the 2 o'clock game of the first round of the ACC tournament. It'll be North Carolina State and Wake Forest. How would you like to prepare for somebody that you just beat by 41 points? Or somebody that just beat you <laughs> by 41. Well, you probably have a little bit of a revenge incentive in that, in that instance. Tomorrow afternoon, the final telecast of the regular season from Charlottesville, Virginia, Maryland. And Virginia, Mike Patrick and Jeff Mullen will have that one for you. Jordan across courts, Matt Doherty had a notion, didn't shoot. Duke Jordan staying in the man to man. Jordan that time went in the air, then decided to shoot, not to shoot it and had to get rid of it. Now we've got a foul down in the lane. Brad Fou Doherty. Fouls against Brad Doherty. Jay Billis trying to battle around to get in good defensive position. Doherty had that arm out there, was holding Billis back, and you can't do that. First foul on Brad Doherty, 54-45, North Carolina by nine. North Carolina putting some pressure on, bringing the ball up court, looking for an opportunity to double team, see if they can't create another turnover. Chip one got in the air and then had to get rid of it. Allery banging his way down the lane. They're going to take the basket away from him. Yes, they are. That's it. He tipped it uh, when it was on the rim. I think it was coming out anyhow. Brad Doherty doing a great job getting over to help Allery going to the basket when he saw Do Doherty over there. And you can see Allery hit the ball while it's on the rim, but he'll get two shots. Second foul on Michael Jordan. 81% free throw shooter is Mark Allery. He has eight points. You see his season high, 23. Getting nine today. He has scored 47 points and picked up 25 rebounds in his last three games as Mark Allery. He has been playing well. He'll be moving to a forward next year in all likelihood for this big club. They've recruited a 7 2 player. Allery not a natural center. Well, I'm sure Allery won't mind at all if somebody else has to go against the league's big guys, maybe give him a little bit more freedom. 15 minutes, 55 seconds left in the basketball game. North Carolina up by seven. Brad Doherty, Jimmy Braddock gets the open jumper, but it won't count. There was a foul called down in the lane. This foul will be against Duke's Mark Allery once again, battling Brad Doherty for position inside. Allery's going over and talking to official Jerry Donahue about it. I think he feels that he was fouled. Mark Allery talking to one of the officials. Is, he goes, oh, he's upset as he talks to his coach, Mike Krzyzewski. So Allery sits down with three fouls, 15-43 left in the game. Matt Doherty. Jimmy Braddock open for three and got it. And I'll tell you what, the North Carolina people have set up a flying wedge up in front of him. There's a three-man screen down there. Jimmy Braddock now has nine points. You ever see a three-man screen? Uh, they're really getting after it on the inside. Todd Anderson can't get control of it. It's out of bounds. Belongs to North Carolina. Duke at times just does not, just not seem to be very patient with the basketball. Going to get an opportunity. Dawkins is going to try to thread it through a couple of North Carolina defenders. Doherty gets his hand on it, bounces off Anderson's chest. Allery and England both have three fouls for Duke now. Warren Martin has three for North Carolina. We have 15 minutes and three seconds left in this basketball game. Oh, Matt Doherty had a wide open shot. And now we have a foul call. That's on Brad Doherty. Against Brad Doherty. That's going to be his second. The basket will not count. This game's all upsided all of a sudden. There's, a, there's people going after one another inside. It's, it's amazing that the freshmen at Duke can realize uh, how much of a rivalry there is with North Carolina this early in their careers, but they're really getting after one another inside. Johnny Dawkins brings it up for Duke. The Devils down by 10. Dawkins lets it fly on the rim, and it's good. And we've got a foul down at the baseline. It's going to go against North Carolina and Sam Perkins. I think it's against Michael Jordan. It's not against Sam Perkins. It's against Michael Jordan. Watch on the end of this play as Jay Billis goes flying out of bounds. 
Yeah, it is against Sweat. <laughs> Both West. Perkins and Jordan got him. They each hit him with an elbow, and Billis went tumbling out of bounds. Now Michael Jordan has his third foul. Johnny Dawkins pumps and misses. He's short with a try. And a loose ball battle. The possession will belong to North Carolina. No. That'd be Duke. It's North Duke. Carolina started the second half with the ball. You're right. Suddenly there. we got some people in foul trouble. North Carolina leading by eight with 14-47. A long way left in this game. And a few people now with three fouls. There's one of them, Michael Jordan. And a bad foul because it came as Dawkins made the shot and gave Duke the basketball back. So Duke could get within six here with a two-point shot, within five with a three-point shot as Mike Krzyzewski looks on. The Duke crowd trying to get back in this game. They're on break here at Duke. Some of the students gone. Johnny Dawkins, Chip England. Tom Emma. 14-38 left in the game now. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Emma started the baseline drive. The ball knocked loose. It's out of bounds. Belongs to Duke under their own basket. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Michael Jordan with the quick hands knocks the ball away. And then the long arms of Sam Perkins almost recovers. You can see Jordan reaching oh. around. Perkins trying to save it back in. Is not able to do it. Lob out front. Johnny Dawkins. 14-29. Left in the game. Dawkins. Good move. Puts up the jumper and can Johnny Dawkins has 17. It's a six-point lead for North Carolina with 14-21 left in the game. A little, little bit of a mismatch, mismatch inside. Emma trying to go against Jordan. Michael Jordan with a rebound shot. It's good. It's going to count. Tremendous shot again by Michael Jordan. He has 15 points. He was fouled. How many times during this season has Michael Jordan come up with a big play? Look at him there, does what the offensive player is supposed to do, get even with the defender on the rebound situation. Duke can't control it. He's right in the right place, has an opportunity to make a three-point play. Todd Anderson just picked up his third foul. He becomes the fifth player in this game with three fouls. Well, Brad Doherty gave Todd Anderson a shove, and Anderson kept the rebound. He really did. I don't know how they didn't call that one. Dawkins shot, partially blocked, and now he's got a foul called against Todd Anderson down at the other end of the floor. Well, Anderson was mad, and that time it looked like he was trying to rebound Sam Perkins' head. Doherty gets back and is going to make a nice block here. Gets his hand on the ball. Now watch Anderson come in, and he's got Perkins by the head, and that's what the foul call is. That is the fourth foul on Todd Anderson. He's the first man to draw his fourth with 13.57 left in the game. And the action really getting heated now. I think some tempers are about to flare. Well, we're having a problem with the clock right at the moment. No, I guess it's a one and one. That was Duke's seventh foul. North Carolina's committed five. Duke has committed seven. You got a quick look at the scoreboard there. It showed seven fouls for Duke. You know what? We played six minutes and three seconds of this half. And North Carolina in the one and one with 13.57 to go. Well, I'm not convinced they're in the one and one. As soon as that ball went in bounds, I've got seven fouls in the second half in my book. Mike Krzyzewski apparently doesn't think so. Scoreboard says seven. <laughs> well, it looks like he shouldn't be talking to the officials then. The scoreboard operator is the guy who made the mistake put the seven up there. Well, I think what he was talking about may not have had anything to do with one and one. He was really upset that Todd Henderson got pushed at the other end of the floor a while ago, and nothing was called. Now Sam Perkins will go to the line to shoot the one and one. 13 points, Sam Perkins in this ball game. North Carolina up by nine. Sam could make it 10 with 13.57 to play. There are the team fouls. A bunch of them. Fourteen points for Sam Perkins, and again, Todd Anderson and Brad Doherty were battling along the lane for position as they went into the lane. Ten-point lead for North Carolina, 13-54 left in the game. Now, Duke's got to be very careful. They want to get a good opportunity at the basket. I don't think they can afford at this, with this time left in the game, to let Carolina streak out to a 15-16 point lead. Johnny Dawkins threw it away. Here comes North Carolina, up by ten, Michael Jordan. He's got Matt Doherty low. Oh, he got it to Perkins, and Perkins couldn't hold it. Carolina turns it over. Dawkins raises it up to Chip England. Squares up, shoots, and drops it. What a pass by Johnny Dawkins. England bounced it off his chest before he controlled it, but great pass by Dawkins. 14 points, Chip England. Eight-point lead for North Carolina. The lob to Brad Doherty. The shot good. 
Brad Doherty now has 11. And with 13-11 left in the game, North Carolina back up by 10. Duke just can't seem to make a run at Carolina thus far in the second half. Carolina's maintained that 8-10 to 10 point lead the entire time. Todd Anderson can't find a shot. He tried to bounce it inside. Dawkins wasn't looking. Now Doherty wraps Dawkins up alongside the head. Mike Krzyzewski's all upset. And North Carolina has the ball. Matt Doherty for three. It's good. Matt Doherty now has eight points. And North Carolina's open to 13-point lead again. And Mike Krzyzewski walking out on the floor, yelling at one of the officials over no call a moment ago. 12.43 left in this game. Timeout taken here. North Carolina 66, Duke 53. Not something that wasn't called. Now this is the play they're upset about. Anderson's very fortunate he doesn't get a three-second call, but watch this coming up here. Doherty's got the ball. Boom! <laughs> Nothing called. Wants to make sure that Johnny Dawkins gets out of the way, and Dawkins very wisely got out from under them. There's the score. North Carolina leading Duke by 13. 12-43 left in this game. Tomorrow afternoon, Maryland at Virginia wraps up the ACC regular season. Mike Patrick and Jeff Mullins will be there. You can see it on the Raycom Jefferson Production Sports Network. And then we all head for the Omni in Atlanta. And the ACC postseason tournament every game will be coming your way on this network. Just check the turnovers. Duke for the basketball having trouble getting it inbounds and they're going to turn it over. The five-second call. Duke could not get it in under pressure from North Carolina. The North Tar Heels get it back. North Carolina just keeps the pressure on and Duke has reacted well to the pressure at times at other times they have not. North Carolina has taken advantage of the Duke lapses and they're out to the 13-point lead. Lob inbounds. Michael Jordan quickly spins it through the lane, takes it up and gets it. Michael Jordan now has 17 points and North Carolina up by 15. That's their biggest lead of the day. 12-30 left in this basketball game and Duke's going to have to make another run. Allery back in the game for Duke. Down the lane he comes. Layup good. Basket will count. It's a charge. And that is four fouls on Mark Allery and I'm not so sure that was a good exchange for him. He has a dozen points but four fouls. Great North Carolina defense leaves Allery with nothing to do. Everybody was covered so he puts the ball on the court, drives to the basket. Matt Doherty there to help out. Allery just came back in the game. He was out with three fouls and now Mike Krzyzewski is going to stay with him. He draws the fourth foul with 12-22 left in the game. Here's Allery. Since the last time out, North Carolina has had two excellent defensive series. They got the five-second call and were able to score two points, and that time they came down, and by denying all the passing lanes to Mark Allery, forced him into his fourth personal foul. Doherty is 77% free throw shooter. Now three for three on the line today. Has nine points in the game. This one could put him right on his average, 10 a game. And Todd Anderson just greeted Brad Doherty down inside once again. Todd Anderson has four fouls. Matt Doherty hits both free throws. He has 10 points. And again, the 15-point lead for North Carolina with 12 minutes and 18 seconds left in the basketball game. North Carolina looking for the opportunity to double-team. Chip England did a nice job. He saw the double-team coming back down. Inside the pass and center for Allery, taken away by Michael Jordan. Came into this game with 72 steals and has two or three in this one. Perkins had an ocean, didn't shoot it. Michael Jordan drops it, picks it up, gives it to Steve Hale. Brad Doherty, turnaround jumper, baseline, won't fall, and Allery clears the rebound for two. Here come the Blue Devils down by 15 with 11.45 to play. Don Emma. Action seems to have calmed down inside a little bit for the moment. There's Anderson with the jump hook, threw it up too strongly, and Brad Doherty clears the rebound. Well, he takes up a lot of space at 6'11 in there. Just a 17-year-old freshman. 11-20. Left in this game. Hale bounces inside. Perkins with that nice soft jump hook. Oh, he can shoot that shot. 14 points for Sam Perkins and a 17-point lead to North Carolina now with 11.07 left in the basketball game. Johnny Dawkins. Todd Anderson with a left-handed jump hook won't fall. Sam Perkins clears it. Hale on up to Michael Jordan. Going to go for three. 
Nothing but net for Michael Jordan. And Mike Krzyzewski's up asking for a timeout. North Carolina has suddenly spurted out to a 20-point lead, primarily on the strength of some excellent inside defense. Michael Jordan with his third three-point goal of the game now has 20. Krzyzewski gets timeout with 10.49 left in this basketball game. North Carolina, Thanks, the two crowds looking on here just seen North Carolina explode on their basketball team. 10.49 left, and the Tar Heels have opened up the 20-point lead. Duke has played at stretches in the basketball game almost have, as if they're in a frenzy. And there you get a look at the second half shooting statistics. They take bad shots. They force the ball inside. They have turnovers. A lot of that has to do with some fine defensive pressure from North Carolina. Johnny Dawkins with a basketball for Duke. 10-39 left in the game. Blue Devils got down by 14 in the first half. Cut 10 points off that at one time. They're going to have to do it again. Emma? Well, look at Henderson and Curtis Hunter in a shoving contest along the way. And Curtis Hunter gets called for the personal foul. North Carolina switching back and forth from the man-to-man -to, -man to the zone. In the second half, they've been primarily into the man-to-man. -man. Curtis Hunter putting some good pressure on, but he got called for the foul. His second foul, he sits down. Dawkins back to Emma. Matt Doherty shuts him off along the baseline. Now Allery. Allery started the drive, now he'll take the jump shot, can't drop it. And Michael Jordan tips it up to Jimmy Braddock. Here comes Carolina. Three-point try, Michael Jordan got an air ball. Mike Allery spares the rebound. The Duke crowd is going to let him know. <laughs> there goes the air ball chant. Ten minutes left in the basketball game. Lob inside, stolen by Michael Jordan. He has at least three steals in this game. The ball out of bounds to North Carolina. He has at least 75 steals on the year. Now that North Carolina has jumped out to a little bit of a lead, watch Michael Jordan as he plays way, way off David Henderson. And that's the key. He's floating around in the middle of the lane there. Duke's not seeing him wandering around inside. He just goes right for the basketball. Warren Martin now replaces Brad Doherty. Second half turnovers. Duke 7, North Carolina 4, 9.51 left in this game. Sam Perkins to Braddock. Gordon trying to post Henderson down low. Now he gets away from him, takes the jumper. It is good. <laughs> and Michael Jordan hit the deck and slid about 10 feet to the midcourt line on the seat of his pants going backwards. Michael Jordan now has 22 points in this game. So Michael Jordan is leaving the basketball game as he's getting uh, Curtis Hunter in the ball game for him. But they're going to have to clean a space from about the top of the key back to the half court line. You can see the little fellas there in the picture trying to wipe up where Jordan slid on his backside. He slid from where the officials are standing, clear across the line, sitting down, going backwards, and there the assistant coach, Bill Gethridge, kind of chuckling with him. Dean Smith talking to him now. Nice slide. It looks like Jordan can do it all. He can move so many different ways on the basketball court. Carolina, Carolina now up by 23 with 9.25 left in the game and a foul call down in the line. Now Warren Martin, he's in the basketball game. He's wondering, hey, I'm sitting over there on the bench and Brad Doherty is cleaning house and I come in the basketball game and I'm not doing anything and I'm getting fouled. Unofficial, I have 31 fouls called in this game. We still have 9.25 to play. Jay Billis on the free throw line. The 6'8 freshman from Rolling Hills of States, California, has just one point today. Make it two. Then he had 21 points and 13 rebounds against Clemson Wednesday night. It's been pretty quiet here today. I, I don't I don't know what's going on here. The officials lecturing Mark Allery. He and Perkins were tangled up along the lane. I think Hank Nichols called Warren Martin for being in the lane too soon. He thought the ball was coming out and blew his whistle. He was going to give Duke another free throw, but as the ball rebounded back in, then there wasn't the call. 78-57, North Carolina by 21. The Tar Heels have the basketball with 9.14 left in the game. Look at Sam Perkins getting big inside to try to catch the basketball. Now foul called as Phyllis and Emma had Perkins sandwiched. Foul's going to be against Jay Billis as Perkins brought the ball above his head. Billis took a whack at it and hit Perkins on the arm. That's three on Jay Billis. Todd Anderson has four for Duke. Chip England, three. Mark Allery has four. Jay Billis has three. For North Carolina, Michael Jordan has three. Warren Martin has four. North Carolina was in the one and one with over 13 minutes left in this game. 
Perkins short with a try. He's had a tough day on the free throw line with Sam Perkins. And it's Michael Jordan that got in the lane quickly and tipped the ball back. He's just been everywhere today. North Carolina by 21. Michael Jordan started the move, stops Braddock, goes for three, and nails it. Jimmy Braddock now has 12 points on four three-point goals. There's your situation. 8.45 left in the game now. North Carolina up by 24 points. They were up by six at halftime. The second half has belonged to the Tar Heels here at Cameron Indoor Stadium this afternoon. Now to recovered by Brad Doherty. North Carolina keeping people in the lane to try to avoid the inside basket. Emma down inside. Jay Villas blocked by Jordan. He's everywhere. <laughs> he was out covering the three-point set up by Emma a moment ago. Now he cuts back and scores at the other end of the floor. Now that's an incredible sequence. He covered Emma out on the wing, came down inside and blocked the shot when they swung the ball. And then get, gets the ball down the court and scores a three-point play. Eight minutes, 14 seconds. Left in this basketball game. Timeout taken here. Our score now, North Carolina 84, Duke 57, and we'll be back right after this. Sophomore battling for the scoring title. It's really a, a testament to how good the players are, the young players in this league. And it's interesting, if Jordan gets the five more points and passes Price, once again, you'll never in the history of the ACC have had a freshman to lead it in scoring. Price looked to be in pretty good shape to do that, to set... Uh, set a standard for a freshman. No freshman had ever done it, but now Jordan's threatening that total. North Carolina up by 27. Johnny Dawkins on the line for Duke has 17 points. Make it 18. Right on his average with 8 minutes, 12 seconds left in this basketball game. Don't forget tomorrow afternoon again, Mike Patrick and Jeff Mullins will be on hand in Charlottesville. The Raycon Jefferson Production Sports Network regular season coverage wraps up with Maryland and Virginia. This all saved the rebound. England lobs cross court. Walden Williams. Explain that. Tissaw just simply did not catch the pass. And now Matt Doherty racing, trying to pick it up. Bangs into the table on the far side. No, it's not Doherty. It's Jimmy Braddock. Mike Tissaw, Mike Tissaw just didn't think the pass was thrown to him. He thought, I guess, it was going to Johnny Dawkins. As he realizes that he gets after it over there, Jimmy Braddock goes sliding into the table. These guys, they're, they're so wet with perspiration, Fred, because it's so hot in here. We just saw Michael Jordan fall down and slide a few feet. Braddock slid just as far that time, and he's very fortunate he's not hurt. He says he's all right. He was limping around a little bit. Now we're going to have to hold up play for a moment while they mop up the perspiration over there. We see some long-distance slides in this second half. Michael Jordan got off a 15-footer going backwards on the seat of his pants, and that time... <laughs> Jimmy Braddock. Now Carolina has really stretched out the lead and they've done it. They've made four three-point baskets in a row and that's one way you can make a run quickly. What a six-point lead for North Carolina. There's the ball knocked loose. Steve Hale picks it up. Michael Jordan. He fouled. Well, that's, some, that's some fast break. The ball doesn't hit the floor. Here you see Hale pick it up. Pass to Hunter without the ball hitting the floor. Goes right to Jordan, right up to the basket. That's really tough to defend again. So Michael Jordan stands at the line with 26 points. Again, five points away from the ACC scoring title. He'll shoot two free throws. Three for three on the line today. 72% free throw shooter on the year. It's good. 27 for Michael Jordan. He has 745 left. Could put his club up by 28 points here after they led by six at halftime. Then some blowouts today. North Carolina State beat Wake 130 to 89. Earlier this afternoon, the first game of our doubleheader, 86-58. On an eight-point lead for the Tar Heels. Well, that's a tough shot by Chip England. Hunter was right in his face. England pulled up from the three-point range, knocked it down. 17 points for Chip England. 7.25 left in the game. 86-61, North Carolina. Hale. Shots up. Off the front of the rim, but he's fouled. Michael Jordan, as we mentioned, with 28 points. If you're wondering about his high, he scored 39 against Georgia Tech in Greensboro earlier this year. This is Steve Hale on the free throw line. Johnny Dawkins getting the personal foul for Duke. His third. 
you don't have 3,000 this game, you're nobody. That's right. <laughs> Steve asked you what you did after the ball game. Steve Hale, the freshman from Kent, Oklahoma, gets the second one. It's 87 61. Raddick replaces Hale. They got Raddick out for a moment, I guess, to check him and make sure he was all right after he slide into the table across the way. Seven minutes, eight seconds left in this basketball game. It's been a while since Duke lost their last home game of the season, but it's going to happen here today. Chip England gets two more. Well, England's doing everything he can to make sure that that doesn't happen in his final home game at Duke, closing out a great career. Six minutes, 49 seconds left in the game now. Michael Jordan goes to work against Weldon Williams, takes him in the lane, kicks it off. Ten seconds left in the shot clock, and Michael Jordan surprised for the pass. That hit him in the, one of the fingers and jammed it a little bit. Very interesting. Looked like North Carolina was going to spread out the floor, wait till the clock got down to four or five seconds, and then go for the basket. Chip England off the baseline, a high lob, and he got it. That's a tough shot. He's made three, three points. He made, he's made three of those in a row, Fred. He's really going after the shot. I think what you'll see on the end of this, there he goes, Michael Jordan will penetrate to the basket because I don't think Weldon Williams can stay with him defensively out away from the hoop. Matt Doherty's shot doesn't drop, this off, clears the rebound. That looked almost like a pass, Fred, like he was trying to throw a lob inside the Perkins that uh, went a little bit astray. This saw outside, 545 up in the game, turnover, North Carolina gets it back. Mike Krzyzewski. Well, the one thing we're keeping our eye on right now is Michael Jordan's attempt to win the ACC scoring title. I don't know if he knows how close he is or not. He has 28 points. He needs three, he needs three points to tie Mark Price, the Georgia Tech freshman. They're clearing out for him. Well, I don't think that's why they're clearing out for him, Fred. He's just he got some guy on him who can't guard it. That now is 30 points for Michael Jordan. So he needs one to tie Mark Price. 519 left in the game. 89-65. North Carolina leading good. England, baseline, gets in the air, gets to Kissaw. Wide open jumper good. Mike Kissaw with his first two points. Crowd likes it. 504 left in the game. Jimmy Braddock. Braddock gets penetration. Brad Doherty way back outside Michael Jordan. Another case, Carolina using, going against Duke, taking what Duke gives them. Duke's lined up in the man-to-man -man with Williams against, with Williams against Michael Jordan. They're spreading out the court for Michael Jordan. Well, Carolina, barring a miracle comeback, has this one won, so that's how the pairings will look in the ACC tournament at noon. It'll be North Carolina against Clemson at 2 o'clock. Wake Forest against NC State, a rematch of their game today. Virginia will go against Duke at 7, and the 9 o'clock game will be Maryland against Georgia Tech. Michael Jordan now has tied Mark Price for the ACC scoring lead, and he could be the scoring champion with this group. Now, is Georgia Tech finished for the year, or is Mark Price, uh, do they have a game tonight possible? They have played all 14 games, I believe. They have. 32 points for Michael Jordan, and he takes over the ACC scoring lead. Jeff England. Mallory. Shepard. No good. Jim Braddock gets it to Perkins, and he's fouled by Chip England. England hit the deck hard. That's four fouls on Chip England. 434 left in this game. 91-67 North Carolina. You know, Fred, Mike Krzyzewski has made a class move here in the last couple of minutes of the game. I think that he realizes the ball game's out of reach. He inserted Mike Tissaw into the lineup, and Tissaw's getting an extended stretch of playing time. Maybe his longest of the year, and that's a nice gesture by the coach in that fellow's final home game. Tissaw, of course, was a big cog for Duke last year, their starting center, and with the incoming freshman, he has played very little this year, so it's a nice move by Mike Krzyzewski. Sam Perkins now has... 15 points in this ball game. Five for eight at the free throw line. Make it six for nine. 
93-67 North Carolina. Four minutes, 31 seconds left in the basketball game. Don't forget again, tomorrow afternoon, it'll be Maryland at Virginia. You can see it on the Raycon Jefferson Production Sports Network by Patrick and Jeff Mullins. And then all the tournament games from the Omni in Atlanta. Starting at noon Friday, Johnny Dawkins takes a shot and a foul called on Sam Perkins down in the way. Here's third. As Carolina has spurted out to this big lead, Fred, the intensity that marked the game through about the first 10 minutes of the second half has dissipated a little bit. We don't have nearly the pushing and shoving and physical play going on that we did before. However, both teams are a little bit tired, I think, so we still have the fouls coming. They're not nearly as of as violent a nature as they were there for a little while. There are eight players in this game with at least three fouls. Mark Allery on the line, 12 points on the afternoon. I'm getting a 10. I'm getting a 12. We'll check it. Carolina's done an excellent defensive job inside against Allery. They forced Duke into outside shooting, and Duke shooters have not been on except for certain stretches of the basketball game. 14 points for Mark Allery. Four minutes, nine seconds left in the basketball game. 93 69. North Carolina. Jim Braddock. Sam Perkins. Johnny Dawkins chasing Braddock. Brad Doherty. Matt Doherty. Well, of course, the 30 second clock is off now, so North Carolina's just moving the basketball. Going to work through the, pardon me, the delay game a little bit now. Michael Jordan. I don't know what that was. <laughs> was that a shot or a pass attempt? Well, if he was passing it, it was a, I think it was back to himself. There's nobody else there. Now Duke turns it right back over again. Steve Hale and Curtis Hunter will check in the lineup now for North Carolina. Michael Jordan is going to take a break. Out comes Jimmy Braddock. Now Warren Martin and John Brownlee coming in. Brad Doherty will come out of the game. And Sam Perkins comes out. No, Matt Doherty's coming out. Cecil Luxon, so a whole new five out there for North Carolina. Whole team substituted by Dean Smith here with 327 left in the game. And I think that's the last time in the game as Dawkins commits a foul against Hale. I think that's the last time in the ball game we'll see the North Carolina starters. Another excellent performance by those guys as they gear up for another stretch drive. <laughs> left in this game. 93 69. North Carolina leading here with Steve Hale on the line to attempt a one and one. He's one for two on the free throw line today. Two points now for Steve Hale. North Carolina will finish this day 25 and 6, 12 and 2 in the ACC. And Virginia will have to beat Maryland tomorrow afternoon to keep a share of the ACC title. Fred, that 25-6 and six is exactly the record that Carolina has averaged over the last 16, 17 years as Dawkins knocks in a three-pointer. That's an unbelievably consistent record for a basketball team. Amazing program. 21 points now for Johnny Dawkins, 95-72, and a foul called on Mike Tissot. Second on Tissot. Uh, now North Carolina is going to take a timeout. There's some confusion out there as to what Dean Smith wanted them to do. So they're going to take a timeout with 3.04 left in the game and a 23-point lead. Again, this timeout comes with three minutes, four seconds left in this game and a pitch and blocks through Cameron Indoor Stadium with a score. 25-72. North Carolina leads Duke with three minutes, four seconds left in the game. Fred White along with Dan Bonner at Cameron Indoor Stadium. John Brownlee on the free throw line for North Carolina looking for his fourth points. First points of the day, let's make that. All of the North Carolina starters and double figures in this game. Well, oh, now we've got a foul on Cecil Lexham of North Carolina. So while they parade toward the other end of the floor, we'd like to thank people who made all this possible for us today. North Carolina Athletic Director John Swafford, his staff, Sports Information Director Rick Brewer and his staff, and head coach Dean Smith and his able staff. Tom Butters, the director at Duke, his staff, sports information director Tom Nickel, and Mike Sashef and his coaching staff for all their help here today. Mike Tissot on the line. This is now somebody got in the lane too soon. They're going to have to try it. 
Warren Martin started to go and he's trying to hold up, but it looks like he couldn't balance on the tightrope long enough. But saw with two points today, three minutes, two seconds left in the game. That one's in and out, and now Warren Martin. Mark Allery are all tied up, and Mark Allery just fouled out of the game. This game really getting ragged. No, wait a minute. Uh, he calls against Warren Ford. Martin. So Warren Martin just fouled out of the game. Everybody went to the other end of the floor thinking that the call was against Mark Allery. It's against Warren Martin. So Warren Martin becomes the first man to foul out. He'll sit down with four points on the day. And Timo Mackinen is going to replace him. Been a long day for this man, Mike Krzyzewski. Here's the seven-foot junior from Lottie, Finland. Timo Mackinen. Mark Allery's on the free throw line. 14 points on the day for Allery. Four for four from the free throw line. Three minutes, one second left in the game. That free throw won't drop. Exum gets it up to Curtis Hunter. North Carolina with the 23-point lead in the basketball. Exum outside, down inside. They go to Hunter. The shot's up. Good. He was fouled. The basket's going to count. Curtis Hunter has nine points. He has not played that many minutes. He got seven in a hurry in the first half. Well, we got it. Foul is against Mark Allery that time, so now Allery will go over and take a seat. He becomes the second player to foul out today. 6'8 freshman. Finishes with 14 points. Got 10 seconds off the clock in that sequence. Curtis Hunter. Ten points, Curtis Hunter. 2.51 left in this game. 98-72, North Carolina. Michael Jordan leading the way today with 32 points. A point ahead of Mark Price in the ACC scoring chase. Good players still looking for that three-point opportunity, but it's well defended again. Oh, England threw it up, off balance, and got a three-pointer. 24 points for Chip England here today. 98-75, North Carolina. Another reminder that at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, you can see Maryland and Virginia here on the Raycom Jefferson Production Sports Network. And then the entire ACC tournament starting next Friday in Atlanta. Exum misses. Timo Mackin is there. Shot won't drop. Exum again. He's fouled. Stops the clock with 2.09 left in the game. It's going to be a long ball game. Duke just not doing a very good job blocking out inside North Carolina. These are some guys in the basketball game that don't get to play very much, and they're playing with a great deal of intensity and enthusiasm at the moment. Exum misses. Okay, they're getting so tired they can't get it up to the free, get the rim. That's interesting to note, North Carolina was holding the ball while the starters were in the game. As Hunter, as Exum misses the second one, but now that the guys who don't play much are in, they're running their regular offense. Good heaven. That's going to count. Chip England nailed a three-pointer and was fouled. That's the first time this year that I've seen a four-point, a possible four-point. Now, I saw one of the officials hold up two fingers, but he's definitely behind the three-point line. Now Mike Krzyzewski is going to check it to see why he wasn't awarded three. And they say three. Twenty-seven points for Chip England. He has five three-point goals. North Carolina clears the rebound. Two minutes left in the basketball game. 98-78. North Carolina. Brown lead. Deep along the baseline to Exum. Hale. Curtis Hunter starts in. No foul call. Tissa kicks it out to Chip England. England up against Hale. Gonna shoot for three. He's got it again. <laughs> Chip England now has six three-point goals. 30 points for Chip England here today. Boy, he's closing it out in great fashion. 98-81 North Carolina. Minute 28 left in the game. Hunter cross course to Exum. Roundly on the baseline. They're going to let him take the shot. He misses. And the ball is out of bounds to North Carolina with a minute 19 left in the game. Bill Jackman now entering the game for Duke, the freshman from Grant, Nebraska. 
replaces the senior Mike Desai. He's going to get a nice ovation as he comes up. Another class move by Mike Shusevsky, taking Tissa out, enabling to get him to get a hand from the home crowd. Steve Hill calls for Bradley as he hit the deck with a minute 11 left in the game. Now Greg Whip is set to check in for Duke. 98-81 North Carolina. Johnny Dawkins up against Hill. Pulls up, fires for three, missed it all. Oh, it's saved inbounds by Jackman, but picked up by North Carolina. 59 seconds left in the game. Exum off the baseline. Shot good. That's 100 for North Carolina. The basket's going to count. He was fouled. Cecil Exum gets his first two points of the day. Here yeah. comes Chip England out of the basketball game. Another senior leaves the game, and he had a 30-point day here today. Exum moves to the basket. Jackman gives him the baseline. Emma tries to get over and help out, but a good, strong move by Exum. Nice to see Chip England close it out. He had a tough year. Lost his starting job at one time, then regained it. Average 18 points a game for the last 10 coming into this one and closes out with 30 here today. Exum completes the three-point play. It's 101-81. North Carolina leading Duke with 50 seconds left in the game. Greg Wendt moving along the baseline. Can't get a shot. And it's stolen by Exum. Here we go. Bam. See, so Exum has 5-103-81 Carolina. 35 seconds left in the game. Right a day for the Tar Heels. Wendt fires for two off the baseline. Can't get it. Exum's got Curtis Center. Three 12 points, Hunter, 105-81, North Carolina. Earlier today, North Carolina State beat Wake Forest 130-89 in the first half of our doubleheader. Well, you've seen some points on the board today in the two games. Went six seconds left in the game. Jay Billis shoots and misses. Hunter up to Exxon, and that's the end of the ball game. Quite a day for the Tar Heels of North Carolina as they defeat Duke here. 105-81, Dean Smith headed for the locker room. Again, our final score here this afternoon. North Carolina's defeated Duke.